and this new feature here, which is images. So Google have kind of captured the images from my landing page that I've given it, but it's also generated its own images as well. So it's used this AI to generate some images that it can use in my advertisements on Google. So if I select that, it automatically resizes my images based on where Google are planning to show this particular advert. This new Google Ads feature utilizes AI to help you to create more effective ads. So Google have recently added this to their ads account and when you're creating your ads, you will see this and I'm gonna show you how to get here in a second, but just to kind of show you the power of it, I've spoken on this YouTube channel many times about split testing and once you plug your website in, all you need to do is plug your website in or the landing page you want to drive Google Ads traffic to and Google will automatically generate headlines that will promote that page. So I didn't put any of these headlines here. So obviously not all of them are necessarily going to be relevant to you or to your business or what you're trying to say, but you can quickly go in here and edit what Google AI have generated for you in any ways you want, or you might just let it run the ad and it will test all of these different 15 variations of your headlines to see which one's going to convert better. And it also does a similar thing for your long headlines as well. I haven't generated any of these. These are all auto generated and I can actually click on this AI feature here, which says generate long headlines. And when I click on that, all I have to do is describe what I'm advertising. And when you select that, you can give Google a description of what you're advertising and get it to generate you some results. And if you type something in here, then generate, it will generate some headline ideas for you. So if I scroll down, it gives me an example um, and it kind of tells me what my company is about. Again, like I've mentioned, none of this is what I've put in here. This is all generated by Google themselves and you can play about with it, edit it. And it's given me my long headlines down here that I can use uh, as part of my Google ad campaigns. So this makes it really simple and easy for you. And then you can go down to your descriptions as well. It's a similar thing. Again, you know, AI generates these descriptions based on the landing page that I give it. And then you can create generative descriptions as well in a similar way. Um, just allow AI to create those for you. And it, then it gives you multiple different descriptions. And this new feature here, which is images. So Google have kind of captured the images from my landing page that I've given it, but it's also generated its own images as well. So it's used this AI to generate some images that it can use in my advertisements on Google. So if I select that, it automatically resizes my images based on where Google are planning to show this particular advert. So for those of you who may not know, Performance Max Campaigns is a new campaign type. And I'm gonna go into speaking about what that is later on in this video. But essentially when you're using Performance Max in Google Ads, it allows you to show your advert in multiple different places. So in Google, in YouTube, in Gmail, and so on and so forth. But there's different formats that your ads need to be in for those different platforms. And as you can see here, AI will automatically put my images in those full formats. So I don't have to worry about creating an image for every single format, but the AI in Google Ads will do that for me. And as you can see down here, you can kind of see what your advert is going to look like. But then it also takes some images from my URL and I can enhance these as well using AI. So then it will actually add it up here to the images that it can test for my advert as well. And if I scroll along, you will see that some of these images is, is taken from uh, stock images and some of these images is generated itself, created itself, and also it's taken from my website. So this is, as you can see, still a beta feature here. So depending on when you're watching this video, the images that you see now whilst it's in beta might not be as good as it is in maybe four or five months, but it's still definitely worth trying and testing if you are planning on doing Google ads. And then you can upload your logo or uh, it will suggest logos for you. And again, this is in uh, beta as well. And the beautiful thing about performance max campaigns in Google is the fact that you can actually uh, allow Google to generate automated videos for your ads as well. So as I mentioned, like Performance Max allows you to create ads that get shown everywhere, including YouTube, but you might not have 
videos for your business that you can utilize in YouTube ads. But this will actually create videos for you automatically. So when you click on videos here, uh, you can either upload a video or you can allow YouTube to create that video for you using some of the images that it's kind of created. So it says here, if you don't have a video, Google will automatically create one in most cases. So where it can, it will create up to five videos for you. And again, all of the assets that this AI is generating for you, so your titles, your descriptions, the images, the video that it's generating for you, it will generate multiple different ones and it will do what's known as multivariant testing. So I've done videos on multivariant testing and what that means and I'll leave links to that video in the description and down below. But essentially, that is Google's way of creating multiple versions of your advert. So multiple different headlines, multiple descriptions and what videos and images and whatnot and it will show them interchangeably different variations of these adverts that is created and it will come up with the best advert, the advert that is converting the most amount of people using machine learning, using AI to make your ads even better. So I'm going to go back into Google Ads, so ads.google.com so you can see where you can set these Google Ads up just in case you're new to using Google Ads. So as I mentioned, you go to ads.google.com, set up your account uh, if you haven't already and then click on where it says new campaign and then it will take you into your campaign objective. So in order to utilize this AI feature, you will need to either have a sales or a leads objective because Google will basically optimize your campaign to get more sales or get more leads. And then you can go down here to choose your conversion goals. So you need to set up conversion goals. That is Google's way of knowing that it has successfully sent you a customer or sent you a new lead for your business. And I'll leave links in the description down below to where you can go and set up your conversion goal. I will also be doing future videos on this channel about Google ads and conversion goals as well and how to set them up. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you are so you don't miss when those videos go live. But as we mentioned with the multivariant testing and the split testing that these new AI features have, what it will do is it will track based on your conversion goal. Once you tell Google what a conversion is, it will Google will begin to see where your sales are coming from, if it's coming from your YouTube ads that is generated for you, or if it's coming from your Google search ads or from Gmail or wherever it might be. And it will start to optimize your campaign, show your campaign more where people are actually buying and to the audiences of people who are buying as well. But these performance max campaigns are really powerful because let's say for example you run a normal search ad so an ad that appears when you type something into google and you see you know the text-based ads or it's a normal google product listing ad where you type a product into google and you see products that is one thing but you can actually use performance map to retarget people who have performed certain queries in google so let's say for example someone is searching for a personal trainer they type that into google and they see you know the organic results they see the paid ad results but then they go on to youtube so youtube can detect the fact that one of their previous searches was for a personal trainer and google can show them your advert but not just your advert Google will show the most optimized version of your advert. So the advert that Google know, once they've run that ad across multiple different platforms, they will show that person the advert that is converting the most. So whatever advert is getting the most sales, Google will show that to them. And then you can come down here and select performance max. And as you can see, it says reach audiences across all of Google with a similar campaign. And then what you want to do is put the URL in here of the landing page that you're trying to promote. So I'm going to put my website as an example and then I'm going to go to continue and then choose a campaign name that you will remember and then continue that as well. And now it asks you for your bidding. So what do you want to focus on? Conversions or conversion value? So essentially, the difference here is if you focus on conversion value, not only will Google try to get you the most amount of conversions using their AI and machine learning, but what Google will do is try to get you the customers who are spending the most on your website. So let's say, for example, you sell multiple different types of products or services on your website and Google send people to your website and a particular audience leave your website usually with around about £100 worth of goods. But then Google 
send another audience to your website and that particular audience tends to leave your website with a thousand pounds worth of goods for the same amount of ad spend. Obviously, you want more of the people who are spending a thousand pounds when leaving your website and not just a hundred pounds. So Google's new AI machine learning will not just optimize your ads for people who are buying, but also for people who are buying and leaving with the most amount of money. So if that is important to you, then using conversion value takes into account how much people are spending when they leave your website. And obviously conversions is important because you might not be running a campaign that drives people directly to your product or service. Maybe you're running a lead generation campaign where conversions is absolutely fine. And obviously you want to optimize your campaign for new customers and then you can click next. So this allows you to select your locations, your languages. So if you're in a particular location or you're selling in a particular location or you're targeting a specific language, then you wanna make sure you have that set up and then go to next. So once you put in your URL, as you can see, it says, let Google AI help you to generate your assets. So it will come up with what you are advertising and you can tweak these, maybe add some products or services here that Google may, may have missed off and delete the ones that it may have gotten wrong. And then it says here, what makes your products or services unique? Google will use this to create your advert, essentially. So as I mentioned before, you know, I didn't add any of this. This is automatically generated by Google's AI and you can go in here and edit this uh, effectively as well. And then once it's done that, you can generate your AI assets and click on that and it will take you to this page where we were at, at the beginning of the video where you can actually start playing about with your AI assets and publish your Google ad. So AI has already started to play a huge role in the way we are creating advertisements. It allows you to create ads quicker, but also allows you to split test and do multivariant tests to your ads so that you can come out with better and new advertisements. So the thing about Performance Max is it will optimize based on conversions, but it needs to have a lot of data in order for it to send you leads and customers effectively. So I recommend that you don't use Performance Max as your first campaign. Maybe first start off with Google Pay Per Click and I've got some videos on how you can optimize your Google Pay Per Click campaigns. I've also got videos on Google product listing ads as well. Those are two really good campaigns to focus on. If you're selling a product, then Google product listing ads are a really great place for you to start because what will happen is when you start generating sales and leads using Google product listing ads and Google search ads is Google will use that data when you do set up your performance max campaigns to drive people to your ads who are most likely to convert. But obviously if you don't have any conversions through Google ads yet, then Google don't know who to suggest your products or services to. You can make this a little bit easier for yourself as well. If you are doing email marketing, I preach email marketing all of the time, but you can upload a list of your email subscribers and Google can actually send people who are similar to your email subscribers as well or to people who visited your website in the past. I'll leave some links in the description down below to my paid ads videos because if you're doing things like retargeting, this will all help your Google ads perform better and it will give Google better insight in terms of who is most likely to buy your products and services. So the more information you give Google about who is likely to convert for you into a customer or a lead, then the more likely Google are to make your Google campaigns more profitable and to lead to more sales. So hopefully this video helped you out and you found value from it. If you do have any questions, then please do let me know in the comment section down below. But I also have the formula and in the formula, I do speak about paid ads as well, but I speak about organic campaigns too, because organic campaigns and paid ads work hand in hand when it comes to creating better paid advertisements for your business. Because like I mentioned, if you are doing retargeting ads, so you're retargeting people who come to your website or who are on your email list, then this improves the profitability of your ad. So it's important to understand how to build your email list, 
using social media, using tools like SEO, and you can use that to your advantage when you're doing paid ads. So if you want a better understanding of how digital marketing works as a way of you promoting your products and services online, then make sure you download the formula. It's completely free. I'll leave a link to it somewhere on this screen and in the description down below. But do me a huge favor, if you've got into this section of the video, please click that like button. It does wonders for this channel and allows the video to be seen by more people so that I can continue making great content for you guys. But until next time, have a great day, go and make some sales, and I'll see you soon.